All right, let's do this. Welcome back to Las Vegas. It's time for the final event of the PGT Last Chance. The event six final table is absolutely stacked as Chino Reem leads the way. My name is Rem Karinkama, Donnie Peters alongside me. Let's go inside the studio and watch some of the best of the best clash and play for that top prize of just shy of $200,000. The PGT Championship is set, so all the scenarios we discussed on last night's show can go straight into the bin, which also means we can just enjoy this table for what it is. Arthur Moore, second in chips. Nick Schulman, Steven Chidwick, Alex Fox, and Max Coleman and winner of an event prior here in this series, Samuel Laskovitz, are the final seven players at this final table. It is going to be an amazing level of play at this final table. Wow. The final 12 got paid, the final seven are guaranteed 39,500, and like I said, <laughs> just shy of 200K up top. Last night, on Alex Foxen <laughs> got owned a little bit by Arthur Martirosian. Martirosian had a deep run again, did not make the it. final table. Let's see That's if Foxen can get William, some redemption. William Donnie, Foxen. this is one heck of a final table. It is absolutely stacked. Uh, I, I know, you know, we're not getting some of those scenarios we hoped for at the end. Wow. Mama <laughs> mia. Alex Foxen Mama here. mia. He's king off oh, suit right off the bat. Oh, yeah, his chip's going in. Please. Snap a call you behind. But, you know, we'll, I guess we'll trade the scenarios for some of the big names. Goofo, goofo. Get some uh, Renlin impersonations here <laughs> at the final table. And there it is. Foxen's tournament life on the line immediately. Arthur Morris with pocket tens risking it all. And no future. Adios, oh my God. <laughs> Foxen's tournament life on the line. Fo Morris, of course, I think we had all in the first very game. comfortable yeah. having yep. two million chips behind. It wasn't as fair as behind. This Here's the flop. King, six, it's about eight. As fair as this. <laughs> that is exactly what the doctor ordered <clears throat> for Alex Foxen. Top here, top kicker for him. The Only has to fade one, one of the two tens remaining in the deck. But three more cards to come. Turn card, five of spades. Morris down to just two outs. Foxen on his way to a quick double up here at the final table. River card, four of hearts, and indeed Foxen rakes in a nice double up here. He needed it though. Only 500k coming into this final table. We're playing 20k, 40k with a 40k big blind ante. What? Max Coleman and Samuel Laskovitz. Pre flop both before you uh, below said half 350. A million. Wow, man. Wow. <laughs> Mamma mia. I got no warning at all. You should, Elsa? when it's at 10 seconds, if you could. Just You're supposed to say mind. at 10 seconds, you should tell him 10 I don't know seconds. when you started it, but it seems like that. Whatever. I can afford it. 34 second ace king. Mamma mia. <laughs> 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 Funny thing is, I plan on saying wow no matter what I peel. <laughs> yeah. I had a genuine wow. <laughs> Donnie, let's go over what happened today because we are now down to seven. The dust has sort of settled, but there was a lot of dust being kicked up inside the studio. Um, talks of Jim oh, wow. Colopy sulking at the bar, <laughs> sweating whether or not he could get into the top 40. Donnie, run us through the scenarios that played out today and how it ultimately landed because it was really, really intense and it's almost a shame that we didn't get to see all of that stuff unfold. Yeah, for the PGT leaderboard and the season-long one is what I'm referencing, and that's the top 40 get into the PGT Championship Million Dollar Free Roll handful of names were on the outside looking in and not too far outside so a big result here in this final event could have catapulted them into the top 40 adam hendricks being right outside in 41st place two players at this final table right now are going to get into the top 40 and that's arthur morris and max coleman 42nd for max coleman 43rd for arthur morris but they're earning enough points i believe to get up in there andrew lucky chewy lichtenberger was 44th he needed a deep run he cashed, but only min cash. 12 <laughs> people cashed. He busted 12. He was short on the bubble, squeaked into the money, but wasn't able to run it up. 
You had players like Dan Smith in 49th, Justin Bonomo in 50th. They ultimately busted and did not get in. So the it's way it's looking right now up. as it pertains to the top 40 season-long leaderboard, it looks like Ben Lamb and Jim Colopy, who came into this event 39th and 40th, are going to get knocked out by Morris and Coleman getting bumped in. So unfortunately for Lamb and Colby, they're going to be out. But fortunately for these two players at this final table, also Chino Reem, who a couple events ago was knocked out. Then as of yesterday's event, he got back in. Now he's going to be able to move up a little bit. And then, of course, you have the two dream seats available for the series leaderboard. And that was a whole different race. Coming into this event, you know, depending on how big this event got, there could have been like up to 25 players eligible to win one of those two dream seats. Um, Dylan DiStefano was uh, up top for that series leaderboard with, you know, a pretty safe lead, but of course it can still, you know, go against him. Samuel <coughs> Laskowitz, who is at this final table all the way to the right of the dealer in the green hoodie, He's in second on that leaderboard. Then you had a bunch of players, Michael Joseph, Joey Wiseman, Dylan Lindy, uh, Kristen Foxen, you know, all kind of close but still needed a big result here. Um, ultimately, you know, like one by one, everyone just busted out. Kristen Foxen ended up getting into the money um, but fell short. She busted in 11th place. I believe she needed to win um, to get up in there. So um, Kristen Foxen bows out. So ultimately, as things all shake out right now, it's going to be Dylan DeStefano winning, or maybe not winning the series leaderboard, but he's going to get one one of the dream seats. And then Samuel Laskowitz is going to get the other dream seat. That's how it's going to shake out. A little bit of anticlimactic at this final table, but as I said before, we got a lot of big names, some really good players, so it should be a fun one nonetheless. 320. Morris limping the button here with King Jack offsuit. Shulman attacking from the big blind with a very strong holding. Ace King off. Shulman has had a few close runs here at the Last Chance series. This is his first appearance on the stream, though. Always good to have Shulman in the mix. Arthur Morris, by the way, Donnie. I did not expect to see him here. He is more so known as a Potlyman Omaha player. Did did realize... Yeah, likes, likes mixed games as well. Right, and, but he realized the importance of showing up here to defend his spot in the top 40, and then ultimately he made it in, which... Of course, for him, it must be a really good accomplishment doing it at Hold'em in this way. Not saying he's not a great Hold'em player. I'm saying he prefers the yeah. other games. Yeah, I think he was coming into this whole series in 40th place exactly, <laughs> then got knocked out, texted PGT Commissioner Tim Duckworth, I'm getting on a plane, I'm coming, <laughs> and has now fought his way what is going to be back in with this final table run here. So, you know, good for him. I mean, that, I, I know... It's it's not really the you 185. Know, the most dramatic final table in terms of the scenarios, but the series as a whole, sweating it every single night, you know, sweating it before the streams through the live updates, it's certainly been entertaining to follow along. Shulman here continues for 185. Action on Morris with King High does have some backdoor diamonds going for him, and of course he is in position. Let's see if he wants to continue here against Nick Shulman. He does not. Let's go, and Nick Shulman chips up. Much love and a shout out to everyone in the chat with us again <coughs> tonight. If you are with us on the YouTube chat, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. As always, the goal is to hit 500 likes. Let's see if we can get close t tonight. Last night, I think we were in like the 430, 440 range. So who knows if we can get there tonight. But we very much appreciate you guys all engaging with our content. We've had a bunch of exciting hands happen on last night's stream. And I can only imagine that this type of lineup will bring forth some more epic clashes. That PG, PGD hat looks super clean, by the way, Donnie. It is. is it, can we buy that those hats, or are those the players' I, only ones? No, I, be, I believe those are available at shop.pokergrow.com. I wasn't even trying to promote the shop. I'm just li 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 legit curious. I'm looking right now just to confirm. Yeah, I see it. It's right there. Nice. Reem raising it up. 85k with a six hole. Joe says, taking odds on if we hit 500 likes. I mean, 
knowing how we fell short last night with a really good final table and good viewership, oh. I'm going to say we're probably plus 300 to uh, 350 behind to hit it. 355. Coleman defending from the big blind. 9 7 of hearts. And there it is. 9 7 10. Two pair immediately for Coleman. Steven Chivik, by the way, back at the final table after last night's deep run. And the 8 on the turn gives Reem a straight. Donnie, four card straight out there, though. Might slow the action down a little bit. Might be hard for Reem to make serious money off this. I, I think we'll probably get at least one streak of value here out of Coleman. I mean, Reem doesn't have to have it, of course. Coleman does check call, 100,000. Queen on the river. Yeah. Chino, of course, has the low end of the straight. Yeah, and of course, he'd be beaten by a jack already. That queen does not affect that. But here he comes. That's going to be enough to put Coleman all in. Oh, wow. So Max Coleman deciding for his tournament life, asking himself the question, how often does Chino Reem have a jack or a six in this scenario. Coleman, throwing in a time extension chip. This is a good spot to use those. Is this a question of uh, bluff or or nuts, or could he be, you know, value betting worse in some scenario where he has perhaps a, you know, that weaker two pair combo, or perhaps, you know, a strong queen, or are we going to see a lot of checks behind there from Chino as well? And are we really just wondering he either has a straight or he doesn't? I think the latter has a straight or he doesn't. There's the wow. Call. Coleman makes the call, does not believe Chino Reem. Reem tables a six, and that is it for Max Coleman. He's our first casualty at tonight's final table. Max Coleman collecting 39,500 for his efforts and very much needed 40 points. That'll leap him back into the top 40 of the PGT Championship standings, and we'll see him back again on Tuesday. Yeah, that does move Coleman up into 38th on the PGT leaderboard with 1137 points. Coleman was the PGT PLO series champion this year. There's a PGT PLO series two, I believe. Or maybe he won the final event. I, I can't remember exactly. This year on the PGT or this season, I should say, Coleman won victory. 20 caches, including this one. More than $1.3 million in prize money won. That hand vaulted Chino Reem up to over 3 million chips. 85 big lines for Chino Reem, 34% of the chips in play. Very comfortable situation for him. Alex Foxen. Doubled up on the very first hand of play, in case you're just tuning in. Finding queen nine of clubs. Let us know in the chat who you are rooting for. Plenty of players to root for, a lot of familiar faces. Also some, some newer faces, perhaps, to the general audience. Uh, Samuel Laskovic being one of them. He won an event earlier this series. Donnie, any, any more info on, on him? Let's see what happens Appreciate here first. Yeah. Lasko is all in with pocket tens action on Foxen who lets it go.
No, I remember when we first no, got wind of last week. No, 2022 no, WSOP. Me. I want to understand. He appeared why they pretty much out of you. nowhere. At the yes, Colossus like final he's table. Got the <laughs> no, it's not because it's kind of like an Italian. Uh, I don't know if it is because I, I <laughs> other other uh, like Chinese people have had similar like Bigger Blind is a common one. Mm, Snap a call, <laughs> Bigger Blind. Like, there's, <laughs> I don't know. I feel like there must be some Maybe something in Chinese. I don't know. I gotta ask him. <laughs> in that 2022 it's Colossus event for Laskowitz. I, I want to remember say that his his bio said like he, he did, didn't play a lot of live poker. Maybe that was his first or second live poker tournament ever. It's his first result on Hendenbach. Okay, <laughs> so I know that for sure. That's amazing. Um, Thank you. Thirteen thousand five hundred sixty-five entries. He took second for two hundred fifty-six k. Second to uh, Paul Heiser out of England. So very Owen. good showing there for Laskowitz. And then since then, you know, he's been all over, playing nice everything. I remember towards the end of 2023, or you know, in November, he made the Please NAPT me. 5K High Roller final table. He's obviously done a lot with here in the studio. You know, had a lot of caches. Yeah, 40K big he won one. event number three earlier in this Perfect. series, as Remco mentioned. Unfortunately, the one that we had some technical difficulties and couldn't stream, but you know, Samuel Laskowitz did win that one. His biggest cash to date, according to the Hendon Mob, remains that second place finish in the $400 Colossus. So June 2022 is when he has it, had his first cash. He's up over $1.6 million in winnings, not including this finish here, wherever he ends up. So very much a new kid on the block. I mean, I'm stalking him on Instagram a little bit, and the cool thing is he posted a throwback Thursday 10 years ago Mind you, so it's a throwback yeah. that was posted <laughs> 10 years ago, so who knows how far back this post goes. But it's him sitting at a cash game table, and the caption is 5K. So, you know, I guess if we add up the <coughs> chips in front of him, it uh, must add up to 5K. So this guy's been around, and, you know, his first tournament cash might have taken a while, but <coughs> clearly he's got a serious cash game background. If he's, yep. all, is, if he's posting throwbacks <laughs> 10 years ago, meaning this might what, be 15 years ago, who knows? Yeah, I mean, you can also definitely tell. You know, even when he made that Colossus Pound table, he, he'd been around poker before. You know, he wasn't a fish out of water, so to speak, you know, at the table looking like he's fumbling chips, all that sort of stuff. No, he's he's got some experience under his belt for sure. We got Shulman taking on Reem here. Shulman had opened with a raise. Chino snap defended out of the big wow, line. Oh, no snap a <laughs> He's going to check call on the jack five three <laughs> flop. I mean, it, it doesn't the get old the board, so <laughs> Chino wins two pair no of fives fumble, and threes no is best. That was the best one. <laughs> Shulman looking for a four to make a wheel, an ace to make a better two pair, or a bluff to work. Looks like check, check. <coughs> Reem increases his chip lead. As always, the silent assassin there in the black hoodie, Stephen Chidwick, waiting, uh, uh, abiding his time, I want to say. He did that last night. Did you slap night. your hand at all today? Almost no. worked out for him. I didn't have any hands. A lot of folding. I'm going to try to stop. Folding or? No, doing run. Snapper call and I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it personally to stop right now for cool. a little while, ten minutes or <laughs> what saying it? Yeah, just say no snap a call, give it's funny though, you know, like hey, no, it's funny, but I can't stop. I just do it over and over. <laughs> for, it's, ad it's it addictive. Like it's an endless loop. It's an addictive I, I gotta stop. Yeah. It's great yeah, though. The, the second the second he jams, he's gonna say no. That's okay. That's, <laughs> that's <laughs> it's great for the viewers. I'm not sure it is. <laughs> <laughs> it is. What do you guys think out there? Is it good or bad? It's bad. So bad. 250. All I want tonight <laughs> is for I Nick Schulman to double right. up <laughs> oh, yeah. wow. and to go touchdown Tom Brady <laughs> <laughs> with, the, with the belt. <clears throat> we got to get him a no gamble in the future yeah. sticker. We, we should. Oh. 
Owen. Laskovitz making it 250. Morris moves sure, all in line, to put mm -hmm. Laskovitz at risk. Earlier, Morris Fox doubled Simon. up Alex Foxen. Is Laskovitz going to get Two a piece of, of him as well? Quadruple suited. Morris, this time in need to hit. Last time he was the one with a pocket pair. Here's a flop. Let's see it. Nine, seven, five. Pocket eights in the lead. Laskovitz looking to fade an ace or a jack to receive a much needed double up at this final table. Winning this hand could bring him up to a million. Turn is the four clubs very safe. Six outs for Arthur Morris. River card, let's see it. It's the deuce of hearts. No very and Laskowitz thing. finds himself a double up. Morris now doubling up two players, bringing five, himself short. down the counts. But still third in chips as the sort of bottom half of the thing is final strong. table is all very close together now. Feels that way sometimes. Morris tried to win a flip having the pair, oh. didn't work. Tried to win the flip having the overcards. No pair, didn't work, so. <laughs> he really didn't feel good about it. Might need to work on his strategy here. Tough big blind, and I lost the last one. That was <laughs> fucked up, you're right. That's my bad. <laughs> I'm on my favorite website, henandmob.com, oh, looking that. at some numbers. And it's <coughs> funny to see. Uh, 970, back. The the 2024 all-time money list, one. or money yeah. list for 2024, is Thanks. completely dominated by people playing in the Last Chance series. Arthur Martirosian leading the way with $439,000 in earnings. The Stefano Laskowitz Negranu Chidwick, that's the current top five. Donnie, last year, in the first month of the year, Isaac Haxton took the top spot, and he basically never let go of it. So maybe this is an omen for these players that they're, they're due for a big year. Always helps to start hot, that's for sure. Shulman raising up to 85K, Chidwick, three betting, ace eight suited. Shulman now. lets it go and Chidwick wins the first hand of his final table. Uh, Morris, so far, the only player down chips at this final table, which is really funny to see. Of course, not for him, but uh, he's doubled up two players. Everyone else has managed to increase a little bit. Nine twenty. Sorry. Nine twenty. Nine twenty-five. Look how close all these stacks are, Donnie. Between third and, and last, there's a difference of four big blinds. It's easy to assume that we might see some more aggression from Chino Reem, looking to take advantage of the current standings. King five suited. There's a king for yeah. Shulman. Got check for Chidwick. Quick bit of trivia here, Donnie. I'll ask you the question as well. We are eight days into the new year. And of course, Hennon keeps track of the annual money list. How many total people in the world have cashed in a live poker tournament eight days into the year? And chat, please play along. How many people do you think have already recorded a cash this year? Oops. We're only eight days into the year. It's not a whole lot. 787. All right, Donnie, 787 is his guess. Chat will give you a few minutes to guess as well. Chipping, by the way, betting 60K. Shulman coming along. I want to see a turn card. 
I do a hundred bucks. Ooh, ace on the turn, right. turning Concise. the tables here as well. I do. Forgot about that. You still have yeah. to play max down there. I do now. still have to play max. <laughs> Maybe we'll do it on the break of the free roll. Yeah. If you're chipping here, Donnie, do you just continue firing? Yeah, I, th I think it's fine to continue firing. I mean, the biggest concern I immediately is a, is a queen jack, but you have a jack in your hand, so. You can just now try and attack and get some value. Target a king, target a ten. I'm sure if you're Shulman, you got to give Chibik a lot of credit for aces in his range, given given the way the hand played out. Yeah, of course. I mean, a lot of times, I, I think this turn card is, is going to favor Chidwick's betting range in general. That said, Chidwick having started this hand with you're becoming you know, dangerous again. Twenty big blinds, a little bit less than twenty big blinds to start the hand. You know, he's probably just not stepping too far out of the box pre-flop, so you probably do have to wait his range there to, to a lot of aces, so good discipline fold from Shulman overall. You know, just, just an unfortunate turn card for him, but could have been worse. It could have been a queen. Uh, time for the big reveal. 1,627 players have already cashed in a live tournament in 2024. So Crazy. we're eight, eight days into the year, and that's how much live poker has already been played. Uh, shout out to Calvin Jennings, who is at the bottom of the leaderboard. He cashed for 65 bucks, Donnie. Calvin yeah, Jennings in the um, shout out Calvin in the Horseshoe Tunica Monday $65 event. He got the min cash. <coughs> That's so crazy how many people have already managed to get a result this year. Stephen Chidwick. Finds pocket jacks, raising it up to 110k. Laskovitz in the big line, between 10 off. A little glance over at the clock. He's going to come along. Four, three, deuce. Yeah. Rolls off the deck. Easy one for Chidlik, who is starting to chip up nicely here in the last few hands. One three of the last ten hands at the table. <coughs> some initial joking around. It's, it's gotten a little quiet at the table. Well, well, you know, once Nick Shulman said he was going to stop doing Ren Lin <laughs> impersonations, yeah, everyone shut up. <laughs> Redlin made a run in this tournament, so it's probably still fresh. You yeah, know, his end. Of antics. course. <laughs> yeah, Redlin finished in ninth place. 79 players in this event to start, 12 cashed. You had Andrew, Lucky Chewy Lichtenberger, finishing <coughs> 12th place with just cashing. Jesse Lonis was the bubble the boy. Last chance. Kristen Foxen in 11th, Nikita Kalinin yeah, in 10th, Ren Lin, as I just mentioned, in 9th, Sam Soverall, who we saw at yesterday's final table in 8th, and then we already saw Max Coleman bust here at this final table, finishing in 7th, Samuel Laskowitz, a couple queens, and look to double up again. Laskowitz on a little over 16 big blinds, about 16 and a half and, and change. Just going to go for shove here. 8.30. How do we feel about this move, Donnie? I think it's 
fine. I mean, it's one of those spots where, you know, you're you're against a button open range, against a guy who's got a lot of chips. So, you may be kind of, you know, tempted to to not just three bet jam because you want to get some value from your queens. But Nick's got enough of a hand to make the call here. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and Renlin's back. I had a feeling if Nick called, it was coming out. Mamma Mia, Lady Gaga, Gaga. Nick Schulman taking a chance here on ace nine. Samuel Laskowitz with pocket queens looking for his second double up in about six hands. The first one through Arthur Morris. Can he find another one through Nick Schulman? Here comes the flop. King wow, okay, 10 to five. <laughs> Very clean. Three outs here for Schulman to send Laskowitz to the rail. Turn card. Six of diamonds, no help. Laskowitz staring at the table, willing a blank on the river. And it worked. Samuel Laskowitz gets, gets his second double up, now up to 1.7 to 6 million. Nick Schulman gets knocked down, but still has 1.2 million left. This really is anyone's game as Chino Reem is the only player with a big stack. Everyone else basically game. between 35 and 20 bigs. <laughs> Alex Fox now the short stack. And Chino's been fairly quiet as the chip leader. Uh, you know, I know he did knock out Max Coleman. But other than that, you know, he hasn't, hasn't really been too involved. Somewhat I guess, surprising, I guess, you know, just Chino with chips. I feel like we just get in there and start firing away. May maybe with the way that the stacks are distributed now where it's basically Chino and then everyone else. Maybe we start to see him open it up a little bit. Chino probably happy to just, you know, get a few pay jumps, sit back, enjoy the all-in show. But so far, mm -hmm. we've had three all-ins and three double-ups. Very good start for Laskowitz. He's gotten two of those double ups. Show him again with a playable hand. A7 off. He's going to come in for a raise. Uh, Will Wallace asking, is this really live? I'm talking to you from <laughs> the future, buddy. Uh, but yeah, we are live. And if you are with us here live, all we ask for is you like the video and subscribe to our channel. We have an insane Snap amount wow. of live Snap content wow. coming up in the next few weeks. So if you love the game of poker, you might as well subscribe, hit the notification bell, because after we're tonight, we're team. taking one day off, <laughs> and then we Long have game. two days of streaming <coughs> of our PGT yeah. Championship events. Day one, yeah. front you to back. About a million day man? two, someone's going to win half a million dollars. Yeah. Eight, the top 40 nine, two, of our year-round leaderboard will battle it out yep. along with some invitees and lucky <coughs> raffle winners. You? And then soon after that, Five. Donnie, Sorry. we have our kickoff series. Yeah. Almost awesome. right so after. What are you at now, Nick? Kickoff mm -hmm. series is going to be, yeah. I think it's four 5Ks also and one million. 10K. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Um, one that point, series uh, offers double okay. points. Just under. Nice little way to start the brand new season and then What's it, a, a week, maybe, maybe two, on under two weeks? I can't remember exactly, but I know it's January 24th. Poker World Cup kicks off for a stream on January 25th. Snap a call. <laughs> streaming, streaming all the Poker World Cup final tables through February 3rd. Poker World Cup will culminate with a $25,000 buying no limit hold'em tournament. You have like 1.1, 1 .1, right, Arthur? Uh, just under. Okay. 1 point, uh, like one, well, zero one five or something. Just right at a million. Brock in the oh, chat says, man, I yeah. couldn't sleep and just came across this channel. Big poker enthusiast. Brock, thanks for joining us, man. I appreciate it. Yeah, if you're with us in the chat, let us know where you're watching from. Always curious to hear. We, we see a lot, a lot of regulars tonight which is always good. This hour is not common for us to be live streaming after midnight, 
this series of events. All one-day tournaments, so all late nights for us, but we were more than happy to give you a chance to watch these final tables. It's a great way to start the year off. And it's a great way to build up the hype for the PGT Championship. Uh, Phil Helmuth, by the way, Donnie, made a deep run in this event, came pretty close to making the money. He seemed uh, rested and ready and amped up to uh, have a good showing. Ultimately, could not close the deal. But we will see him in the PGT Championship. Yeah. Phil's ready to go. Looked like he was in some very good spirits. Must have been that uh, beet salad and escargot. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> From last night at Bardo. <laughs> exactly right. <laughs> because Patented showing up late. I think he got here at 4 o'clock or something. You know, Reg closed at 4.30 or whatever. And... He was in there. What did he say again? Was it his chef or his manager? Wait, what was the... What was the well, I think his... <laughs> I think when he said, like, my manager, I think he meant, like, his, like, host at Aria oh, or something. And then the chef was also in the video. The chef was in the video, yeah. For a takeaway meal, by the way. Yeah. He wasn't even dining in. I mean, he's, he's, a, special, Legend. he's a special human being. Legendary guy. Uh, meanwhile, Arthur Morris flopping the Stone Cold Nuts here. Broadway on the flop. Stephen Chitwick with ace six, a potential customer. Yeah, Alex Fox has a little piece of this one too with that 10. Not sure how, how much Fox will stick around, but still has a piece of it. Thirty. Oh, Morris, getting aggressive right away. Foxen with the quick fold, understandably. <coughs> has a decision to make here. Donny, does the ace six shrink in your hand almost immediately when you get raised on this flop? Yeah, I mean it, it shrinks a, a little bit, you know. I think it's good recognition for Morris to come out with a check raise here. Not slow playing this one. I mean, this flop's going to favor Chidwick a bit, but him continuation betting with two people, probably, probably a good chance that he does have an ace, so just go after that sort of hand and try and get the money in the middle as soon as possible. Wow, great well done. Well done, Chidwick. recognition by Stephen Chidwick. Let's go of his top pair on the flop to the raise from Arthur Morris. Morris, of course, happy to chip up a little bit, but when he sees this, he's probably wondering, oh, it could have been, could have been different. <laughs> Interesting. We saw we saw a similar pot spot with Chidwick yesterday. I want to say he had ace deuce against Sam Soberl on an on an ace side board and. He ended up calling, and then I think he called the turn as well. You know, so, and then Sam, oh, that was when Sam had aces. Remember that? And then Sam flopped top set. Um, and then Sam went really small on the river, and Chidwick ultimately did find the fold. But And didn't Chidwick make a set of kings right after? I can't remember. I don't <laughs> remember that part. Uh, by the way, much love to everyone in the chat who is who's, uh, letting us know where they're watching from. I'm going to scroll back up and see what we're dealing with here. Another playable one for Stevie. Jack Nine of Diamonds. Out of the hijack seat. 110k is the raise. We've got Tec Texas, Vancouver, Mexico. Quite a few from Mexico. Trenton, New Jersey, Palo Alto, Thailand, Seattle. Somehow, lots of people from Seattle watching tonight. Seoul. What else? Brisbane, Australia. Aussie's in the house, as always. Oi, oi, oi. <coughs> Pasta sugar. Uh, South Korea, Pittsburgh. <coughs> Hamilton. Cincinnati. Calgary. Central Virginia. Macedonia in the house. Great to hear that. Southern Cali. That's our new guy, Brock, who's with us. We got Phoenix, Arizona. Home of the Arizona State Poker Championship. Huge event, always. 
Fox and Ace King offsuit on the button. He is our short stack, 15 big blinds. Let's see what he's going to come with here. Okay, 110 is the raise. Nothing to defend with there for Laskovic. He lets it go. And Foxen takes down the blinds and antis. Uh, Daryl says he's watching from Taos, New Mexico. Now, I've happened to be to Taos, New Mexico. I can highly recommend visiting. Had a great time there. We're supposed to go camping in Taos, Donnie. And we spent a whole day driving there. We had booked a campsite. And then it started raining. There's this whole thing. And then my fiance was Googling the area. And she found out that there's bears. So we went. We went. We went from. We went from going there to camp, to b to booking a last minute hotel because she didn't want to set up the, the tent in the dark. Did not enjoy the idea of getting wet in the rain, and getting eaten by bears. So we ended up staying in a hotel. <laughs> Had a great time. Uh, brought all our camping gear for nothing, but it was still fun. We were on a little bit of a road trip. How much did? New Mexico probably one of the most underrated states in the country, at least that I've been to. I went to Las Vegas, New Mexico this <laughs> summer. <laughs> that was really fun. Alaska was here limping in, Queen 10 off against even Chidwick's big line. Chidwick with a dominated Queen 2 How do I keep suited. hearing poker 2 sounds? Am I the only one hearing that? Someone is. Someone is. What do you hear? I was trying to figure out how someone at the table was finding the way to play. One final thing here on Las Vegas, New Mexico. I just keep hearing poker too. If you're sounds. ever traveling through there, yeah. go stay at the historic <laughs> Plaza Hotel. You got Michelle and eat at the restaurant. for you. Yeah, right. Phenomenal stuff. Historic Plaza Hotel. I just keep hearing the sounds of this uh, poker app. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think it's that. Maybe I've been playing too much. I hear it <laughs> echoing in my head. Sir. Check, check. On what the is it? Sports betting <laughs> slash poker site. Is it? I think so. I think it's like a poker too, is by the, the way they were describing it. Oh yeah. Like a, a club. Yeah. Just, I was just laughing that you know, I was like, as we're talking about poker too, when there's a monkey tilt yeah. sponsor. Yeah. Rough. <laughs> Bad beat. Almost a case of whoever bets first is going to win this. <laughs> yeah, right. <coughs> so far, no one wants to bet. I would represent Monkey Tilt. <laughs> yeah. As long as they pay me. <clears throat> <laughs> we'll put a word in for you, Chino. Good name. Probably a good patch to be wearing. <laughs> I'm tilted. What can you say? Yeah. Queen off. When Chibik heard that, he was like, okay, then I can't win. Maybe we chop? <laughs> <laughs> Laskowitz takes that one. Jewel said, black bears are the least threatening compared to brown, let alone grizzly and polar bears. I don't need a justification <laughs> on the bears. I mean, <laughs> what, what, what is, uh, neither does your fiance. Ba bears is enough. <laughs> End it, of the story. Was it like a brown lay down, <laughs> black fight back? Um, <laughs> and then you're just fucked. <laughs> yeah. If you, get, if you run into a grizzly <laughs> or a polar bear, it's just game over. I do know that polar bears are the meanest ones. And they look the cutest. And they like they like hunt you. <laughs> they'll, <laughs> they'll hunt you. Yeah, they'll chase they'll after actually you. go after you. Yeah, they'll eat you. The funniest. Okay, 
the play is a little slow, so give me give me a ch give me a chance to, to to tell something funny. You know, sometimes when you're on Instagram and you're scrolling through your reels, you get like you know people doing dumb stuff and, and nature videos, all sorts of stuff. Well, sometimes you get bear videos, and people encountering. Bears. I get bear videos all the time. Yeah. So how funny is it when you get the bear video and it's? I think I mu it must be a brown bear that you can scare off by by being loud or whatever it is, or a black bear, I guess. Um, I always feel like these people are in Yellow Yellowstone or something. Um, they start yelling, "Go away, Snap bear! <laughs> Go away, bear!" And th the realization that these people think that this bear has an awareness to know that he <laughs> is a bear to me is literally <laughs> the funniest thing ever. Bear, bear, bear! Go away! I'm like, he doesn't he realize he's a bear. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen a bear once from my from the car about as close as I wanted to get. <laughs> Russell says, bears speak English. The only bears I think that speak English are the Chicago bears. Yogi bear. What about Cocaine Bear, Donnie? Did you watch that movie? <laughs> no, I did not watch that movie. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, hey, it looked like it might be interesting. All right, one hell of a trip. Uh, Schulman here finds Ace-10 offsuit, comes with the raise. Nick, what did you start the camera? I have 1.155 behind. Morris coming along with You're the jack three of diamonds. Yeah. Is that a pretty common approach to defend hands like that, Don? I mean, it's pretty common these days to defend yeah. just about anything. <laughs> I mean, you know, give up the worst of it, but a suited jack is still fine enough to defend here. I mean, these guys are deep enough. Of course, they're not super deep, but deep enough. King 8, 7, 2 clubs here. Continuation back. Going to get it done. Nice and easy for Shulman. That was a good flop for my hand. Still, I mean, still pretty seven close. Five of clubs. Chidwick, Morris, Fox, and Shulman. E even Laskowitz, you know. It was a good flop for that hand. They're all between 1 and 1.75 million. And then Gina Reams just chilling at the top with 3.3. Just... Gina Reem has 34% of the chips <coughs> to play. The other players have between 10 and 18%. Donnie, we're coming off a big day of NFL action. I know, yeah, I know, I know you're a big like fan. I know you're a line. betting man. I have like 1.2 million. Yeah, I got smoked. Yeah. <laughs> you got, <the laughs> got crushed. But like, is, is your is your season is your season over because you guys did a lot of season long betting, or is, is playoffs a good opportunity for you as well? Um, yeah, I mean, I'll I'll target some playoff stuff, of course. Um, season long stuff, n not not too much uh, came mm. in. I got absolutely crushed on the fourth play of the season when Aaron Rodgers went down. behind. I think I had every single season long bet for Garrett Wilson. Expected a huge year out of him. You know, just kind of figured he would be the new Devonte Adams to to Aaron Rodgers, and Aaron Rodgers goes and. Treads his Achilles in the fourth play of the year, and that's that. So, you know. But playoffs, I think, offer a good time. There's a lot of interesting matchups. As it stands right now, what do you think the, the two conference finals will look like? I think San Francisco out of the NFC is going to be just too hard to beat, right? That said, I think I want to bet on Detroit. Okay. I mean, could just be a soccer bet in me that I, I kind of oh, like good. the story. You know, Detroit kind of coming back, return to the playoffs, that sort of stuff. Um, Dan Campbell. You know, first time in, what, 25 years or something? Yeah, I mean, Dan Campbell, I think that was winning the division or whatever. But Dan Campbell, you know, 
talks about showing up to work every single day, two trenches, one in each hand. Like, I'm in. Like, I, that's my guy, right? You know, he's going, he's going for it on fourth downs, left, right, and center. Like, you know, that's, it's great, right? I mean, he certainly embodies the city of Detroit. Blue collar, silver and blue through and through, so kind of a sucker for that. For the AFC, I mean, I, I, I kind of want to bet on the Browns. I know it's weird getting Joe Flacco off the couch coming in there. I mean, they're on like their 17th quarterback this season, but that defense is lights out. If Joe Flacco can be what he has been, which is serviceable, you know, looking not looking like a guy who just came off the couch, then I think the AFC is pretty much wide open, you know. In the NFC, it was really it was really for the first half of the year, San Francisco and Philadelphia. Well, Philadelphia looks like a disaster right now. And then now they got some injuries coming out of week 18, so it's really just San Francisco, yeah. kind of why I lean Detroit. And then I think the AFC is just pretty wide open overall. I mean, the Ravens, go forward, go forward, yeah, forward, number one seed, but I think they can get got if the way that they play their style doesn't work. Like, do they have a backup plan? I don't know. Can Lamar just go out there and throw the ball over the field? I wouldn't be so confident in that overall. Not sure what you can expect from the Bills on a week-to-week -week basis. Same with the Dolphins. Both those teams also dealing with injuries. King of Hearts. Oh, the Chiefs, I mean, seven of clubs. unless they get a wide receiver that can catch the ball, where are they going to go? Like, you know, so it's it's going to make for a fun playoff. So I'll tell you that much. We're a little frisky. The only thought I had today was it might be better for the Dolphins to play against the Chiefs. That wasn't than very strong like your ask. No, I know. Yeah, I mean, I think he, Chiefs he are so hit more than miss. me, too, you know. <laughs> They've been a you got to yeah. name specific Obviously, cards to hit them sometimes. <laughs> Hit him with the spot Ben Lamb, all ace combos versus Black Force. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gamble too much. I gamble, gamble too, too much, much right now. The CJ Stroud and the Texans, that's, I mean, that's a very cool story. Stroud's just out there doing it. <coughs> Are we on break? Yeah. yeah break. Okay. Let us know in the chat who you think is going to be. In the conference finals, 1.17. Players rushing out, which means that we're oh. gearing up for some time travel, Donnie. I love it. If, love, love me some time travel. If you're new to our show, you know that we love time travel. So no break here on the show. 175. Let's see where this goes. This Shulman with King Queen of Hearts. Um, That's a very, that sounds right, very nice game. Laskowitz. Guys, a six yeah, guys. million playable one. You know he can I call here. Position. One behind. Exactly. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Moore's going to come along with the call. Decent hand in position. Can potentially flop well. However, a little bit of trouble on the horizon, perhaps, if a queen comes off. But the opposite of that is true as a 10 pops off. And now Laskowitz takes the lead. Backdoor hearts, backdoor straight still in play for Shulman. So not the worst flop for a hand like his. Donnie, are we continuing... Most of the time here with King Queen on this flop? I think continuing certainly within the procedures here, but it's probably a check just because this sort of texture I think is going to favor Laskowitz. Now, if Laskowitz does decide to bet here, depending on sizing, you know, I think Shulman can call, as you mentioned, those back doors. is the bet from Laskowitz. Yeah. Stacks are getting a bit shallower here, so the, the the dancing around that might be possible with deeper stacks, of course, a lot easier. But Shulman is going to come along here. Now, all of a sudden, we have 650 in the middle. Big pot worth fighting over. Nothing there for Shulman on the turn. If you're Laskowitz here, you don't really want to give a free card. Seventy. 
370 and a quick fold from Nick Schulman. And Samuel Laskovitz, perhaps the best level of any player <laughs> at this final table. Two double ups and this win versus Schulman at the very end. Tremendous showing from him so far. And uh, we're just gonna have a little bit of uh, time travel uh, here as you Sorry, skip Martin. through the break <laughs> like you're accustomed to. Whenever we can, we do. And the action will continue right now as the blinds are gonna go oh, up. Like and Chino Reem still with the chip lead. Looks to close this one out. Nick Schulman, our short stack, 16 bigs. Chitwick, 17 bigs. Fox, and 18 bigs. Moore's 19 bigs. Donnie, this really is anyone's game. Samuel Laskovitz firmly in second place now probably hoping for some clashes between the other players. By the way, my name is Remco Rinkema. Donnie Peters alongside me. We're Please. so stoked to call the action on tonight's final table. This is the final event of the Last Chance Series. We're gearing up for that PGT Championship that kicks off on January 9th. That's going to be a million dollar free roll with a 500k first prize. The top 40 will show up to play. If you want to see who's in that top 40, Check out pht.com slash leaderboard. That, of course, does not take into account tonight's results just yet. But please know that both Chino Reem and Arthur Morris are in the top 40 wherever they finish tonight. Button raise here for Laskowitz to 135k. The player is now playing 30,000, 60,000 on the blinds. Okay. Missing one card from Laskowitz. He's got the king of spades, and we don't know the other one, but likely get that soon. Does flop at least okay. a top pair. Green defends the big line with 7 6 suited and flops middle pair of sevens. Reem checks over to Laskowitz. Comes with 120,000, so one third pot. Chino doesn't usually waste a lot of time, and he doesn't here. Puts the money in to make the call. Queen of Hearts on the turn. Okay. No matter what the other card is for Laskowitz, he's got the best of it right here. K is the bet, 400 into 600. Two thirds pot here from Laskowitz. necessarily liked it, but Chino Reem gave it up. And it was ace, king of spades for Laskowitz. Very, very strong holding there. Top pair, top kicker. Hmm? Gets a little action out of it from the chip leader, Chino Reem, and Everything? Laskowitz now go for, go for. closes the gap I flopped a pair. between he and Chino Reem. What's going on? Is that like secondary RFID in case it doesn't read? What is? Yeah. Yeah, it's hard to read. So. Yeah, 
want to set up there. Okay. You like that feature? Mm-hmm. I was talking to producer Aiden, and he said Why? that. Well, I mean, he's kind of <laughs> he's kind of in charge. He's kind of he's kind of running the show. Um, he was saying how certain players, no names were mentioned, were sweating the cards a bit too hard, breaking the RFID chips inside the cards. <laughs> so Johnny, we don't have to guess or speculate on who that who that is, right? We all left for one. Another. Who would be the biggest why sweater of cards at the table? We did. Break? Well, he won the very Gino, last hand sure. on the break or something. I was going to say oh. Nick Shulman. That's why. I'm oh. See, I, well, I that's think how you have two well, he does sweat, sweat hard in a lot of spots. But I, I think well, Nick, like being like a commentator and, uh, on that six side, six understands the <laughs> RFID stuff. So I think Chino just probably just like rips them. I think Arthur Morris too, mixed game guy, show. PLO guy. Yeah. Like he probably sweats hard, you know. <laughs> yeah, but when he had the queen, he it's for sure not Stephen Chidwick. Like there's just no way. So you, yeah, one like a you want one more pot. All right, chat. Help us determine who is breaking the cards. It's not Chidwick. We know that. We can eliminate him. Chidwick barely lifts the cards all off the table. I feel like he doesn't even have to look. He just plays blind. He just feel, feels the energy. He just goes. <laughs> he, he goes Annette, Annette Oberstadt on it. Like he he'll peel, but he won't look. Just so it seems like he did. I'm 99% certain that. Well, other than right there, but I was gonna say. Chidwick hasn't said a word at this table, and everyone else has, and then he just announces his bet, which is 400, because he's going to commit himself here. 400 is enough, though, to get it done. Uh, by the way, if you're just tuning in, please smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. We're still an underdog to hit 500 likes, but hey, got to keep trying. Who doesn't love an underdog? Exactly. Donnie and I struggle mightily staying healthy here whenever we come to the studio. Always lots of homemade goods, baked goods, cookies, muffins, <coughs> all that stuff. Right now, producer Aiden texting us, says, please grab some of that Buca di Beppo in the lounge if you want. There's, there's, <laughs> there's cheese manicotti. There's also garlic bread. There's Caesar salad. They're just trying to fatten us up, Donnie. They are. They are. Nick Schulman, ace, queen. Offsuit is going to come in for the raise. Manicotte, one of my absolute favorite things. You remember at the? Were you at my house in in New Hampshire for the? Oh yeah, that yeah. was manicotte. Oh, so good, it's amazing. Whereas my grandma would say manicotte. Just leave off the rest of it. Prosciutto, prosciutto, cavagul. I still don't even think it's like a real word. It's just <laughs> it, <laughs> it, it is now. I mean, shout out Tony Soprano. <laughs> Heads up here. Fox in against Shulman. Shulman was the one opening with a pre-flop raise and gets a favorable flop here. Top pair, top kicker, and that top kicker is the nut flush draw for Shulman. This is undergun versus big blind. Very small here. From Shulman. Dream flop for him. Yeah, I could certainly see Foxen coming along for a at least one street here and seeing how things develop. card nuts right now for Nick Schulman. Yeah, it's not the development he wanted to see being Foxen. Not Schulman all over this one now. Not flushed, I should say, because it's a five six of clubs. It's probably still hiding somewhere. What sort of questions is Shulman asking himself here now that there's four clubs on the table? How do I get maximum value? You know, <laughs> what does my opponent have, and, and, and you know, how do I want to approach 225. the turn in river here? So 
he decides on exactly half pot here. Is that because checking back and betting river is going to look even stronger than just continuing? Not necessarily. I, I mean, it's just, but it could just be a factor more of like, you know, what fox and stack size is and how do I go three streets with my hand and get, and get all the money in. Let's say you check back there, you know, whatever comes off on the river, fox and checks again. I mean, 450 so the out there. The, uh, He's got 855 behind. You're really going to get the money the, in that way. That's the first for 2024? Yeah. For points and all that? Double points. Mm. Foxen knows. That's right. Foxen's ready to go. Always always one of the top uh, performers on mm, the double PGT. Points for the tank as is the Steven Chidwick counters. also at this oh, point. I think it's double points for the, the whole series. series. Oh, right. And it goes up to 25, right? Oh, right. The final event, I think, is a 25. Yeah, yeah. So it's significant. The kickoff? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I thought it was just 5-5 five, five kids. Uh, no, and then, no, and then, well, maybe you think of PGA, PG Cup. The Poker Go Cup. Is the 10 case. I don't know if I'm sure if the kickoff is separate. Uh, I mean, it's up on the board there. I'm almost sure that it's 5 to 25. No, I can see it. It's 5, 5 case and 1, 10 case. Really? Yeah, and then to the next green is Poker uh, Go Cup, and that's up okay. 1, 5 K, a bunch uh, of 10 So K's. basically it's just 5 Ks that count as 10 Ks, essentially, then. And there's 5 of them. Yes, that sure. makes more sense. I was kind of surprised by the double points. Yeah, that'd be the Poker Go Cup. There's two 15Ks and a 25K. Yeah, 15K is kind of cool. So that's a nice, it's a good price point. Yeah, I feel like January, nice February, there. like early, late January and early February. Second. Pretty much everyone kind of takes a break in general. Five more thousand. Takes 20. a break. What are you talking about? Right now? I had never noticed. <laughs> I know a lot of guys <laughs> who are essentially on break end of January. Foxen's like a break? What's that? But they did the um, <laughs> Fox and took spring Christmas. break thing between the mixed series and PLO series this year, like perfect. People who have kids, I'm pretty happy about that. They took, uh, it's like March 9th to the 17th, they're just off. And my kids literally on spring break that exact time. So like, they like plan for that pretty well. Okay. And stuff like that, that is. Yeah, interesting. I wonder how much of that's just coincidence or not. Yeah. I imagine the spring breaks vary quite a bit. Right? I mean, yeah, to some some degree, but I think they 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 I mean, they're all around mid March. Yeah, generally. <coughs> it was their goal to try to hit the most common spring breaks. Oh. Are you gonna play the PLO series? Yeah. Okay, and the mix? Do you get in there? No, not the mix. Probably. You should play the oh, cherry pick it. Play like the big bet mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I'm if I'm around, I don't know. I wouldn't like stay and you know, be sure to be in town for it or anything. But if I'm here and I'm not doing anything, two ten, I'll hop in the deuce or whatever. Big bet mix. Yeah. This one checked okay. to the river, and Shulman's coming with a bet. Trying to take this one. You know, Chino doesn't like the fold ever. So, you know, certainly not just, you know, posturing here for the heck of it. You can certainly see him flick, flick this one in. But that looks like no, huh? Ten. If Shulman Port gets it through. Important one for Shulman here. Not hand, not hand, not hand. Thank you. Go fall, go fall. <laughs> Renlin's back. Oh, man. This is too good. <laughs> It's cool. It's cool hearing the players talk about the upcoming kickoff series and the cup and the mixed games and the PLO series. Uh, feel as though with each year that passes, uh, this is more and more becoming <coughs> the routine of these players, especially of course so much if they're local to Las Vegas. But um, the PGT in 2024 is going to be, from my perspective, bigger again. St starting off with a really, really strong January-February combo, and then we've got USPO. Of course, there's lots of WSOP events that count. Uh, it's going to be exciting to see. And then we've got the Masters, Super High Roller Bowl. There's just a whole lot to to battle for. And it's a fun year-long sweat. For me, someone who loves nerding out over stats and standings, uh, seeing that all come together in an event like the championship, which we have, of course, coming up on Tuesday, uh, is it, very exciting.
Yeah, if, if the players are becoming very well aware of this, and as you mentioned, you know, building it into their yearly poker routines, and then I think we're, we're doing something right. Heading into the fourth season of the PGT, the million dollar free roll is going to return. Shulman here, limping in from the small blind, Laskowitz checks his option in the big. 8-4 of diamonds for Shulman, king-9, offsuit for Laskowitz. Laskowitz flops the best of it here on the monotone flop. He's got a pair of nines, and the player has a club. Shulman's going to fire at this one, though. Lex says, more PLO series, please. Well, Lex, I'll tell you that the PGT PLO series will be back, okay? I think we're still working on final dates and whatnot to get that announced, but it will be back. Also would love to see the return of Super High Roller Bowl PLO. Debuted that one last season. Jared Blesnick, of course, winning it, coming out on top that Final table live stream went forever, something like 14 or 15 hours, can't remember exactly. It's all a bit foggy still when I think back on it, but 100k buy-in for that one, the largest buy-in PLO tournament to date. So very cool to have that as a record, even if it ends up, you know, falling this year. Still very cool to have. <coughs> check, check here on the turn between these two players. Jack of clubs on the river. It's going to be a chop because there's a flush on board, but that doesn't mean one of these players can't take a stab and try and take this one down. Donnie, I just find it very disrespectful there's no 7 card stud series. I mean, Where, yeah. where's, where's the draw series? Talk to Jeff Lissandra. I mean, surprised he hasn't threatened to take our heads off yet. You know? <laughs> Showman comes with a bet. And never easy to be in Last Witch's shoes where, you know, you're calling to chop. <laughs> you know, it's never just a good feeling. He does give it up. Very nice restart from Nick Shulman. These are not like, you know, groundbreaking pots or anything, but <laughs> it is so important to maneuver and to win those smaller pots as well. Every little bit counts, man. Every little bit counts. Fox on the short stack, 825K, about 13 bigs, and then it's Chidwick and Morris virtually tied with just over a million each. Gina Reem still out on top. Down from his peak a little bit, but still out on top. Gina Reem probably wondering, why are we still six-handed? Yeah, I know. Right? Well, <laughs> you know, chino has got to get in there and play some pots, as he is here. A couple sevens. Under the gun, 125K is the raise. <laughs> All right, Chidwick, ace, queen of hearts. We very well may see this one go all in pre-flop. Did he say the words? I think he said the words. He did there say the words. Yeah. Chidwick all in first turn of life here. If Chino Reem decides to call. You're not drinking, right? Oh, I am. <laughs> Which I think he will. That's a Sevens, I think, is just a little bit too good to get away from here. 970? Yes. 970. You like you need it. Try and get this shit over with. <laughs> exactly as you mentioned, you know, wondering why we're still six handed. Chino Rim taking matters into his own hands, looking to send Chidwick to the rail. Two million in the middle here. Huge opportunity for Chidwick to really become a strong contender. 
Yeah, you probably shouldn't. Do that. Having said no that, how bad you need to get wins this. I don't need it. He's going to really extend the chip lead. It's a fair fight, though. This is classic chip. Uh, <laughs> I was a chip count. Classic <laughs> coin flip. Testing the gut. I'm sort of feel, yeah, feels like, These two uh, are uh, stuff going a newfound the battle going on down there. Yeah, oh, really? Uh, Interesting. Uh, well, seven. let's see who will climb after this board runs out as Jack 8 6 keeps the sevens in the lead. Can we please get a video of Chino Reem and Steven Chitwick going through the climbing gym? <laughs> I would love to watch that. Chibik needs to hit to stay alive. Deuce on the turn is not going <laughs> to do it. However, does pick up some outs oh, here. Trouble. Hard flush draw for Chibik to go along say if you fade with the turn, you win, cards. I don't know if that counts. 14 outs now. One card to come. Ace, queen, or a heart. Can Chibik find it, or will he be eliminated? River card is the 10 of clubs. Look. That is it. not it. Steven Chitwick eliminated in sixth place. He's had a quiet showing at tonight's final table, but still collects 47,400 for his efforts. Chino Reem, yep. meanwhile, yep. Yep. ships yep. up to 4.3 million. Yep. Yep. Chitwick does classics. pick up some extra oh, points, but oh. maintains third place on the PGT <laughs> leaderboard. He's going to come into the PGT Championship third in chips. Steven okay. Chitwick was nice the PGT you. player of the year last year. I guess that's another wrinkle that we, we didn't mention off the top, but <sighs> Isaac Haxon has secured yeah, another worst to finish the top of the season long leaderboard, and he two will be the PGT player of the year for the 2023 season. Pair, the and with King, that comes King, a $50,000 bonus. Seven. So congratulations to Isaac Haxon. Anyway. Incredible year. Yeah, I believe it. I had a black rollerball. Second place in super high rollerball PLO. I'm just like literally saying it for what it is, not in yeah. any kind of way. I liked my cards for that one. I had two black threes. <coughs> I mean. First instinct was just call, see what he's got. Then it was raise, bluff raise. Then it was just went to muck. He went through all three. All we, three, and my, maybe all three are on the table. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, Ch Chino Reem's been out there, you know, getting over some addiction, some substance abuse, you know, in recent years. And one of the things he's really been trying to do is work on his health, you know, both physical and mental. And it was during one of the series, I, I might have been during Poker Masters, when he was talking with Stephen Chidwick and Lucky Chewy, and they were they were talking about how they go climbing a lot. And Chino Reem was like, I, I'd like to go with you guys sometime. I've never been, but I'd like to go. <laughs> Nine behind. Next thing you know, day or two later, that morning, on Chino's uh, Instagram feed, yeah. he's how at the climbing yeah. wall with Lucky Chewy and Stephen Chidwick. <laughs> All right. So I'm sure, I'm sure that Here was go. Let's swat you know, it. quite fun. That's, That's the jack of clubs. So put that in the good pile. Okay. See if we get a line. Maybe we'll get a line. That's, oh, that's a three sider, three sider auto death. Great news. Auto death. Did we find the oh. the card oh, destroyer? Yeah. Is it Arthur Moore? <laughs> Always the mixed <laughs> game guys. Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> like what? What do you expect? Giant clubs like uh, oh, okay, interesting. <laughs> yeah. Those cards ain't cheap. I mean, he yeah, just exposed himself to a global audience. It's really crazy that. Him and, uh, oh man. Yeah. He's the culprit. Um, yeah. 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 Oh, wow. I didn't know that. Did they know each other? No, they didn't. I don't think it's that small, but it still is pretty remarkable. He said 8,000. Oh, yeah, what? Small, it's that right? no, I could be wrong, but I thought it was, no. it was seven what? figures. The town Renlin grew up in has 8,000 people as a population. No, right? You <laughs> probably wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying you don't know the population of Renlin's home? Weird. All I want to know is what he said when he was Singing and you said, Well, uh, no, that wasn't her. It was, uh, oh, maybe it was, but it was the other dealer. Yeah, she know, said it was Chinese. Wasn't good... And I said, uh, Is that really Chinese? And she said, Yes. I said, Well, what's he singing about? And she said, No comment, but like serious. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It might be like witching us all. It might be like, <laughs> up, you know? It's possible. <laughs> goofo, goofo. Such, goofo. A pl <laughs> such a pleasant sounding song. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's, it's, it's the way he sings it, too. <laughs> wishing yeah. 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 Like, yeah. 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 <laughs> I don't think she said no comment, like, but real yeah. serious, like, not like, yeah. Know. I was like, wow. <laughs> <laughs> like, I kind of want to know. <laughs> no comment, but wear a seatbelt tonight on the way. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This is good.
If it's 8,000 people, I, I gotta go visit that place. I, I know, dude, something in the water there. Yeah. For, <laughs> I'm going. What if they're all exactly like him? I, well, the thing is, Ben and I might never quite leave. Different. Yeah, they they are very different. So, yeah, that seems possible. to Alex Fox and in the small blind. King eight of hearts. Eight sitting on 14 bigs. Okay. Committing raise here with the quick folds from Shulman and Fox is going to pick up the blinds and antis. Fox and the Morris both below 20 bigs. They're playing 30 k Oh my god, wow. A few more minutes. Wow. Wow. <laughs> wow. You got it. Wow. Wow. <laughs> I'm not going to turn over another card once that accidentally flips over oh first. Oh my god, cooler, cooler. You got trouble. <laughs> that's, yeah. that's amazing. Adios, amigo. Adios, amigo, you got trouble. What did, what did he say when he busted and you hit the four on the river? He said something to the dealer with one card left. He goes, almost love you. He I al almost loved me. I yeah. almost loved you. <laughs> I almost right, loved you. That's the thing, though. He shows you little wrinkles. Like, maybe this guy is, like, really scary. <laughs> <laughs> almost loved you. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. He's so close. <laughs> Arthur Morris, 10 9 of clubs. The kind of hands you'd love to play when you're deep stacked. And you can win a big stack from your opponent, but also not a bad hand to attack with, even though he's sitting on just 16 bigs. You started with. I have 750 here and 120 there. 878. Laskowitz, Jack nine off in the big blind. Might see him defend here. Call has indeed been made. Laskowitz with the better nine. Ace King Jack, bottom pair for Laskowitz. Perhaps the type of flop donning that Morris can still continue on. Yeah, as a pre-flop laser, I think it's going to favor him. So he could bet here, certainly. Now, whether or not it's going to work against a player who flopped a pair, I'll be a bottom pair. It's a different question. Does call. Moore is not the deepest here. Just over a pot size bet remaining in his stack. Ten on the turn. Decision here for Arthur Morris. Are we going to continue firing here? Representing a strong range, raising up a small stack. However, there's not much wiggle room left here. Yeah, I mean, I, I know it's sometimes easy to just default, like 
180,000 quick fold there from last squids. But I, I know sometimes it's easy to say, oh, well, I turned a pair, so I just have showdown value, so I'll just check and just try and get the showdown. Well, right. on this type of board, I mean, how much is that showdown value worth if you're in Morris's shoes? So, good recognition from him just to keep the bluffing at it and continue through with that because I'm not going to probably be worth much. Here's a look at the beautiful Poker Go studio from the outside. If you want to play some poker as well, go and head on over to PokerGoPlay.com. Get in the game right now. Pick your avatar and uh, you know, get playing. Mix it up. Yeah, let's go. You can play with me. I I'll pick out a Perrier. Yeah. A few times a week. If you're just Thank tuning you. in, we're five-handed in the, la the final event of the PGT Last Chance right. series. Yeah. <laughs> we are just... Yeah, we're now it got away It was very hot. Now it's a, it's a little nippy. Free roll championship. You know? yeah. It's kind of funny. We're going to see all five of these players <coughs> yeah. on Tuesday. Oh, where? It's very cool. So I had a hoodie. Lines in here. are up. Oh, there. It's yeah. under the table. I'm yeah, very much looking forward to that TGT going championship. On. It event. did get a little cold. Also love how we're going to be streaming it from very early on on day <coughs> one. So get to see the progression as opposed to what we, you know, we see so often is, is the final table action, but seeing the stuff earlier, seeing how players get to the final table, how they build their stacks, it's always very cool. Is the clock paused for a reason? No, this is the first time of the new level. Do you have the chamomile? Just science. <laughs> <laughs> Not sure what Laskowitz has here, but he is thinking about it. All in. <laughs> and he All does in. jam. And I would expect Shulman's going to call here. So that's I a believe seven, I'm calling, but let me just gather myself for a moment here. <laughs> Thank you. Sorry. Shulman <laughs> receiving his uh, chamomile tea. I think tea. I you back when you have a chance. Tipping 20 bucks, but well done, Nick Shulman. Call. call. Makes the call with pocket nines. Let's see if it's indeed sevens. Seven. Nines and sevens. Ooh, indeed sevens for Laskovitz. Nick Shulman's tournament life on the line, but three million in the middle here. This is a crucial hand at this final table. A bit of a cooler here for Laskovitz. About 17 big blinds for Nick Shulman, button versus small blind. Two medium pairs, but oh, yeah, 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 I got holding trouble. in the spot. Gamble one too much. Got in. trouble. Gamble <laughs> too much. Thank you. <laughs> Mama <laughs> Mia. Someone the one at risk. <laughs> Laskowitz has been involved in many hands at this final table. Let's see if we can pull this one out of the hat. It is 10, queen, three, a seven, and a seven only. Will send Shulman to the rail. Laskowitz was fortunate to double up twice and rake in some nice pots, but this is trouble as a six on the turn. Nick, no, one of three, three side. Four side, four side. <laughs> red, though, so three side. It was red, yeah. See the color before the size, or at least I do. River card. The five of clubs. Nick Shulman receives a massive double up. Samuel Laskowitz now down to 430K. 1.43. I'll and break one this down. Quick peek at the blinds right. tells you that he only has five left. Five, six, 1.43. I'm right back where they started. You know, Laskowitz was short to start and got some double ups early to run his stack up. And Shulman was second in chips to Chino Reem. You know, ultimately lost some hands and got knocked down. One of those double ups for Laskowitz was with two queens against Nick Shulman's ace nine off. So Shulman getting back up over three million now. Still does trail Chino Reem, who's over there with 4.25 million. Why do they change decks at such frequency? Is there like a. I don't know. I assume something with RFID or. Yeah. <laughs> well, if you guys stopped breaking the cards, then we wouldn't need to change them so often. Arthur. Wins one pot and they're like, no, this can't be. <laughs> Last
last week's <coughs> five picks. Fox and 12, Morris 15. Safe to say that Nick Shulman will be Expensive. playing a bit more carefully yeah. over the next few orbits as we could be you know, 30 down minutes to really play rather quickly if none of those guys manage to find a double up. At this it's going to be interesting yeah. Yeah. footing here for yeah. Morris and Foxen because Jeez, Laskowitz is now three. so short. <coughs> <coughs> Five and a half big blinds for Laskowitz. So. Shulman, same hand, two nines. This time he's got two black nines. But good starting hand nonetheless. Out of the cutoff, here comes a raise. Actually pulls around two. Morris in the big blind. Sorry. Jack two suited. So earlier we did see lucky Morris nine. defend lucky the jack nine. three lucky here. Nine. Jack two oh, suited. Wow. Kind of, you know, the same sort Nine's of hand class, nine. but Repeaters. given his Hot stack today. size with the blinds up, given where Laskowitz is at at the yeah, leaderboard. No. The luckiest pair. Two or three times. Put that one in the muck and not worry about it. You do? Yeah. All fruitful. Um, yeah. Yeah, actually. I feel like that's the, the pair. I like to see all the time. I, I feel like I always want to have nine. Nine? I feel like I pop a lot of sets with nines. I mean, I know you it's probably only, I, do if you feel that way. I mean, I'm probably just running away above expectation. Obviously, it's the only way it can be, but they're all equal. But not when I get them. Uh, <laughs> they're not all equal. Deuces and threes flop four sets. <laughs> because when you see the flop, it's less likely that someone else has a deuce or a three. When you see the flop with nine. There was some, some big prop EV going on in Bob's yeah. for a while with those. <laughs> oh, yeah? Yeah. 175. Snap call. Someone opens it up under the gun. Jack 10 off. 175K is the raise. Chino Ream. Probably the one player he didn't want to get in there and tangle with. Makes the call on the button. So Ream will have position. Typo, typo. On go for, go for, go for, go for, go for. Ace eight of hearts. All right, the two big stacks here going at it. Between the two of them, 75% of the chips in play are represented. Nine eight deuce, two clubs. Good flop for Shulman here as he flops an open ender. Reem improves to a pair of eights, and that's 200k after Shulman checks. out of position here, up against the one stack that could ultimately crush him. Probably just going to play this one a little bit more conservatively, not go too crazy with it. Yeah, but Donnie, look at the other way around. It's the only stack he can double through. That's that's also true. Okay. Nice turn card here for Shulman. Improves to the jack high straight. Does bring a third club. Checks back. It is actually cold. Wow. King of Clubs on the river could be an action killer. Should we make sure that 10 no, is no. not a club? <laughs> Still too warm. Wow. Real? Yeah, I'm, I don't know. I'm hot blooded. Fox is the only How person cold to keep say it's house? warm in this room. <laughs> as cold as Chrissy will let me. <laughs> The honest truth. 100. 100. Nicholas, you gamble too much. No snap at all. Mm. So Nicholas has the fucking queen jack. It's a club. Which wins? Fuck it, I got no idea. What can Nicholas trick call flop with that I can beat? Two sixes, no club. Can't beat three sevens. Wants to make this call. Shouldn't so be wasting seems. time with fucking. 
third pair. I'm trying to find a hand I could beat for a hundred fucking thousand. Can't beat that either. This. Nick Schulman. Thank you. Craftily getting value from his straight on this four flush board. Chino Rima non believer. And Nick Schulman chips up and grabs the chip lead. Reem, no longer he on top expect us. after 38 hands of play. <laughs> Shulman and Reem separating themselves from the pack. Chino Reem, of course, can afford a little misstep. Hey, uh, play so bad, should raise river. <laughs> <laughs> Beat Ace Queen of Spades, Ace Jack of Spades, all of those. That's some hands. Yeah. Good price. There's some hands you beat. Two red fives, two red sixes, something like that. Maybe those. I don't know about those. Those probably don't bet. 300? Maybe you gamble too much. 300. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> Mamma Laskowitz all in for 300k. Excuse me, raising it 300k. When I try to find the hands I beat, you know, we, we, we put more in there. You know you're in the weeds. When yeah, you're when we're adding hands. One. There's got to be one I beat. Fox and eyeballing whatever Laskowitz has left from the small blind. Sees this as an opportunity, potentially. Nope, does let it go. And I fold this one. Lasko is happy to take this one down. Much needed. He needs a few more. You got trouble. <laughs> you got trouble. Let us know in the chat. Who do you think is going to take this one down? Shulman marching. Marching no ahead. No fumble, no future. Exact same chips now. That's Chino Reem. The best was he offered Sovereign a buyout. And Sovereign's like, really? You, you want the money? He pulls the cash out. He's going to give him the money. And Sauber goes, uh, okay, I think it's real. No gamble, no future. Puts the money away, walks away. <laughs> when he was doing it, he looked really dead. I know. He had I, a sweat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was. <laughs> he got the ball back. <clears throat> I've had many zero possibility decisions. Perfect. Thanks. Mark says, all Shulman all, all right. day, every oh, yeah. day. All in. And Nick Shulman here yeah. moves all in with ace jack. Laskowitz in the big blind oh. with oh. ace six. Makes oh, wow. the call. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Gamble too much. Gamble <laughs> too much. Trouble. Big trouble. I feel like I might have put red in the title of this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The cadence <laughs> and all that. Yeah. I feel like I. Not that I could match it, but I could lean into it a little harder, but it doesn't, it's, I don't feel comfortable I, I'm, leaning I've, in too exact hard. Exact same. Yeah. Part of me wanted to stand up and start channeling energy yeah, from my own. Oh, dude, I, uh, he too has much. I can't do it. So much, too. Three seconds. And then he slams, wow. he slams in the uh, the patches, you know. No, he can't it. Stands up, screams. He's the most dynamic man in poker. We've been talking about him for three hours. Yeah. <laughs> We've been all imitating him and talking about him all night. <laughs> Last quiz term of life on the line. Everybody cracking jokes. Nobody can stop. It's a jovial atmosphere here, but serious stop. business <coughs> taking place here as <coughs> Samuel Laskowitz, who will be in the championship, is now down to just three outs. Some backdoor options are still available. A little bit. Back with chops. A little bit of stuff. Back with straight, maybe. Four. 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 There it is. Four on the turn. A five three or side, six three. would now three side, three side. Wow. give him the five. win. Do you want to call for the two side 50 50? That's what I'm saying. Three You're going for 33% th or not the 50 50? Not too greedy. All right, fair, fair. Fair. River card. Is the king of spades, and that'll do it. Samuel Laskowitz eliminated in fifth place. Nick Schulman. Oh, Picking up some chips now? here, extending his chip lead. Is it uh, single big? 63,200. <clears throat> we'll see him again on Tuesday. 
as he See you Tuesday, Sam. is qualified. See you. Sick that with uh, you have a million, right? You have a million in five. Yeah. <laughs> Sick that with ten left in the field. All ten were 100 percent in the tournament already for Tuesday. I think nine left. Nine but left? Oh yeah, yeah no, 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 nine. When she busted in ten, that's when yeah. I, I needed nine for a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Chrissy had a lot of caches. Like, this series, she she needed to. I mean, she, she had needed four to, caches, but they were all main caches. Yeah. She needed to win today to get in. Yeah. Well, she needed to win and have uh, what? Dylan? I think Dylan, Dylan needed not to get less than nine. Or he needed to not cash, I think, actually. No, I think if she, she, she would have won. If he had 10th or worse and she won, he was going to win. She was going to win. I think 197 would only get her eight points ahead, but whatever it is. Ten seconds. Morris having just secured a pay jump, looking at a King Nine offsuit, contemplating perhaps a shove here. Just decided to let it go. Same for Foxen. Now the two big stacks lining up to play another hand. Go full, go full, go full. No. <laughs> oh, that was a freestyle there. <laughs> How did nobody say, please, no snap a call yet? <laughs> like, there's been enough all ends. In it's true. I was going to say it. I said there. it like 20 times in a row. <laughs> please, but not, not like uh, in context. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just kept saying it. Reem and Shulman battling again with two short stacks, being happy spectators. I think I had a no snap a call you behind once, but not the same. Well, you, the best was the very first thing on the table. You looked down, wow, and then looked, and then you're like, oh, I got a jam. Yeah. I said, wow, like, like as they were being peeled. Yeah, and then you started laughing <laughs> as you're looking at your hand. Perfectly nice. balanced. <laughs> in the lead here, action gets checked down to the river. Four spades, double paired board Damn. now. King, Ace high versus King one. high. Does it get checked again? Ooh, domination you have. What a one and all in. My hand, that Yeah, yeah, snap a check should value that. Ah, yeah, yeah. He's back. <laughs> I'm back. I'm, back. I'm, like, I'm like Daniel Day-Lewis out there. I'm going to be around for the year. He says, uh, I'm, I'm not going to do it for at least 10 minutes. He made it like a hand, maybe. I'm on a big rip right now. It's around the yeah. <laughs> You think he's going to watch it? Yeah, I think he watches everything. Because he... Maybe not. As I, I saw, as I saw him... As I saw him coming to uh, Late Reg today, he's like, ah, natural nine. I see you last night, natural nine. Yeah, he's watching. Ah, yeah. uh, good. Of course he's watching. Renlin consumes it all. Yep. <laughs> Fan favorite Renlin. If you are unfamiliar with Renlin, the player that they are talking about and also imitating <laughs> plenty throughout this final table, just tune in on Tuesday for I the PGT Championship because Renlin is in the field. He's sixth on the PGT leaderboard. No, An amazingly you know, entertaining you know, character is Renly. Goofo, goofo. We need him <laughs> and Nick Shulman at the feature table <laughs> together. Alex Foxen needs to be there too. And, and Phil Hummel, oh, because I feel like Phil would get a little tilted. here as Morris and Foxen continue to see their stacks dwindle. It's been all Shulman ever since the blinds have gone up. Sorry. That hurts. Go for go for go for King Jack. Suit. Suit. It doesn't matter what the stakes are. There's nothing more frustrating than being short stacked, wanting to get your chips in, and then just not getting dealt anything playable. Fold equity. Slowly slipping through your fingers. 
you know, the, the more desperate you get, I mean, you, <laughs> your standards go down. So it's, it's not even like you need that much. Right. <laughs> Give me like a jack nine, you know, ten nine. Like I'll put my money and let's go. I mean, this will feel like aces. Yeah, this is, for this is the nuts, man. Let's go. Like two Broadway cards? Let's make it happen. 800,000. Leaving himself with 5K behind Arthur Morris, <coughs> putting 800K in the middle there. Fix up the lines and antes. Okay. The pace of play is very high. You see, they have a patent on this. There was a big box here. This is patent. Really? Wait, yeah, you mean the one that fell off? Or yeah, it, look, patent pending. Mm -hmm. Intellectual property down there. <laughs> I want to know how they managed to pull that one off. Carrie must have a good patent attorney. The patent pending is the, and the table is cool. electronic LED strip yes. yeah, you I like see it. on the inner rail. It is. Right. I just want to know how it's patentable. Well, it is patent pending. Right. Wow. <laughs> like, I'm not sure what part of it is, is the patent. It's like unique. Or, yeah. It probably is unique, though, if there's a patent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something. <clears throat> I think we're the only ones with that. Most of them, I mean, we used to even have a static one, you know? Right. I always wonder when someone was going to do that. I still think we should put the chip counts of the players on there. Can I send messages to that? Like, it, like can I a, download uh, an app on my phone and like, like if fire you, them in? If you use the hashtag, it'll show up on the screen. <laughs> yeah, let's go. <laughs> no snap a call you behind. All right, let's squeeze. All right, Alex Fox. First card bid for you, two sides. Breaking the cards in half. Yeah. Wait, I'm so telling course you. Of course, it's going to go 400 behind. Yes. <laughs> All in. Wow, mama matched. I told you what I had matched, too. Yeah. Hi, yeah. You in trouble? Yeah, you got to go Fox on has turned the life first, on the line. Point flip. How much you have? Uh, nine seventy-five, I believe. Alright. Yeah. Okay. It won't hurt that bad. Fox and looking for an ace or a ten. It's out of my hands. To double up and trying to fade the spot he finished in in yesterday's event, which was fourth place. Are you talking to me or Chino? <laughs> Both of you. Here's the flop. Nine, <laughs> eight, four. Yeah. Five still ahead. <laughs> <Yeah>. <coughs> Lady Gaga. Take Lady Gaga. Of club? No. Yeah. That's, yeah. that's club Gaga. Fair. Come on, that's too much. I only have ten outs of the. Uh, Lady Gaga, anyway. It's a lot. Turn card Ooh, nine. Oh. That's cool, too. Take nine. And eight is added to Foxen's outs to counterfeit the pair of fives that Reem is holding. An ace of ten or an eight for Foxen, or else he will be our fourth place finisher. River card. <laughs> it Lady is the Gaga. queen of spades. Did you, did you hear me? GG, Alex Fox in a round of fist bumps yep. as he will head for the exit. Chino Reem sends him to the rail. Fox and will collect $79,000 and we'll see him again on Tuesday for the million dollar PGT Championship free roll. Chino Reem extends his chip to the final three players guaranteed $102,000. I literally I with realize it. With 20 tweets, yeah, I'm like, Fox I'm telling this fucking guy what I have PGT if I wake up with, with 20 with 27 left, I said it was going to be 1, 2, 3. 210,000 yeah. starting yeah. chips I with 210 like, big blinds. I'm going to get 1, 2, 3, Yumi Schumann. Arthur, I'm I'm sorry, I hate to break it to you on the break. Me and Nick said we're going to get heads up. <laughs> He'll be fifth. Well, we can't board. all be perfect. Start I love you, homie. <laughs> you know? Shulman, king nine off on the button. Three-handed play. Morris short on 12 bigs. Reem and Shulman tied for the chip lead. Would be a would be a fair fight heads up. 600. And there it is, Reem fighting back, making it 600K. Arthur Morris with king jack offsuit in the big blind. Might be time. These are coming in play. King for everyone here. 
Nine, <laughs> ten, and a jack. Donnie, if you're Morris here with this stack size, should you be folding in hopes of a clash between these two players, or is your hand just too strong and you're sort of invited to go for it? I mean, it's tricky. I think it's going to be extremely hard for, for those two good to fold, fold, get their fold. money in. Nice hand, nice hand. Good fold, good fold, it good might good. not necessarily be all about that versus you could just be crushed in that spot, you know? Tino can have ace king, king queen, ace jack, stuff like that. Obviously, kings and jacks as well, queens, aces, blah, blah, blah. Ace ton. Could just be in a really no. tough spot, so. Could not have been happier if uh, Chino called to jam. Yeah. That's why I did the three bet first. I had the king jack off. You had me in bad I shape. Go for, go for. You, oh, yeah. nice, I, nice, nice. You had the best, I had second best, he had third best. Yeah, I was pretty close to King Jack, but I believe it. I was the One closest away? I could the closest I could be to King Jack. Wow, that's a lot of yeah. That's a lot of collision. Yeah. Seven deuce, it's yours. Eight hundred five thousand. <laughs> Morris announcing his stack is almost as if he is anticipating being all in on the very next hand. Sorry. Because uh, we're squeezing? Okay. We're playing block. The thing off. is, though, they're, they're very hard. Yeah. So it's like you... You, you, you do know. have to yeah. put some emphasis but into okay. this. You can't just, like, pick it up off the table and, like, you know. Okay, no, no, I understand. Okay. She's just a messenger. It's messing up the, like... Well, the reading. So got it. Wow. It's, it's like, yeah, breaking the reading. Players being made aware of the fact that the uh, RFID sensors are strained under their Baccarat style card sweating. Of course, it's not that extreme, but these cards are a bit more sensitive than the usual ones you see <coughs> in your local game. They're all thicker, in. they don't bend as well. Uh, Arthur Morris here finds 10 8 of spades, moves uh, all in. I'm not even going to look. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, what Gina sees an ace. Yeah. No, but I makes the I call. Add. Yeah, yeah, two live ones. Okay. Arthur Morris will not be too unhappy uh, how much being all in here with 5? 10 eight of spades versus a six. So 1.7 million. <laughs> said I'm not even gonna look and then fold it. <laughs> Lady Gaga, lucky. Brother, ten and eight. Natural. Ten and eight. Natural. Brother, player lose seven to banker eight. I love you, brother, but me and Nick gotta stick to the plan. I love you too. Thank you for the chippies. Arthur Morris willing his way towards a double up, hopefully. <laughs> Morris, of course, already having a great day, qualifying for the Spade, championship Spade. free roll. Ace oh, in the window, however, hole. close to ending his bid for a win in this event. Snowman. Morris down to five outs Two here. Snowman. Plenty of them. If you're going to be like Ren, you got to be the eternal optimist. You can't think about Absolutely. Up. Never giving up. Yeah. O only an ace he gives up, you know. I mean. <laughs> An ace on the turn, He's still hoping. run. <laughs> <laughs> He's hoping for the uh, yeah. foul deck, the you know? foul deck. <laughs> hey, one more ace of heart. <laughs> <laughs> the turn is the five of spades. Arthur Moore still with five outs. Got to stay positive here. Chinarino. Eight of diamonds. Right here. Nick Shulman right here. about to be heads off on less. I'll take the chop. Pops up. <laughs> River card is Easy the seven of hearts, and that'll do nice. it. Good luck. Arthur Thanks. Morris eliminated in third place. Great have, showing like, by him. Or no? He collects 102,700. And Nick Shulman and Chino Reem, two friends, will now be going heads up for the title in this mean, like, PGT last chance event. We're going to be doing the uh, heads up battle here in just a few moments. <laughs> and Donnie, we've I been have told a little fun with this. the players decided to Make a little deal, <coughs> of course, not for the points. You cannot chop Heads the points, up so for the, the points title. will go to the winner. Uh, well, I was actually Nick, wrong on that. You Nick, can't chop the take you can't? Yeah, the, the, well, the, they adjust based ass. on the payouts. Oh, That was my fault from earlier. No game. Like no game on Nilfi all in. Snap phone. a call. <laughs> Natural. All right. Oh. Wow. Mama mia. Let's get caught up here, Donnie. Reem and Shulman made a deal. ICM chop, and now they're going to gamble for it. 
All in, Shulman, Jack 8, Reem, Ace 9. Reem is filming. It is not as if this is live streamed, Donnie. <laughs> All of a sudden, we've got some chaos on our hands. You need it for the IG stories, bro. It's I don't even know gram. if my story can see. Let's go. The story dies. we got to go faster than that. Wait. <laughs> Reem wants to get it all in the story. Deuce 6 4 on the flop here. Shulman is the chip leader. He needs to hit, though, or else Reem will take. Oh, Ay, yeah, yeah. Excuse me, Chino is the chip leader. So lucky. <laughs> Shulman is the one getting lucky here, hitting a jack on the turn. We're still on the gram here with <laughs> Chino Reem, who needs an ace and an ace I only. I Okay, I think Chino good. jinxed himself one, by wanting to actually, film the what? final hand of the tournament. I posted the ante. I had 4.25 to start, so, but. <laughs> but I but I posted the ante and I can't figure it out. I'm too I'm like too tired. Four, Doesn't four sound. Five, did you have? I had 4.25 to start, so I know I would have 8.5 leaving with 1.3. So it doesn't matter, but yeah, it, it doesn't, doesn't matter. matter. It honestly doesn't. At this point, they okay, made so a just deal. Keep 1.375. I think, so. I think we okay. can just go right. with close yeah. enough. <laughs> what do you think, Remco? I think so. I think <laughs> these guys have chopped. Look at <laughs> They've chopped the money. They're going to gamble for it to see who gets to post for the winner photo. Okay. Chino thought that. Nice hand. Call. Chino thought he had it. So the, the, the ICM chop was, heads you know, up. obviously based on the starting chips when they were heads up. In the dark. Mama Chino mia. took the Mama most money, 170300 so In the dark. Nick Shulman took 161500 And now they're essentially flipping it up for the trophy. <laughs> it, it's probably the first time, Donnie, since you and I have done commentary. You don't think we they'll be mad, right? We talk. Like yeah, yeah, everybody knows. It's all good. Yeah, it's public information. I... Okay. Prefer the transparency when they, they do Snap a call. Like I mean, we know what's happening. Uh, yeah. They're just wow. going to have some fun. K9. Out now. Natural 9. <laughs> Two side. Okay. Natural 8. Go follow Gino Reem on Instagram, I guess. In Baccarat. Right, natural 9. Nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to get the Gino Reem comeback. Gamble. You gamble too much. <laughs> Gino Reem. Favorite here to double up again. Mama King mia. Jack oh, 8. Yeah. Very much a favorite to Exa double up. Exactly. Natural 8. percent here. Natural 9. I don't even know how we go. Oh, yeah. 5533. Five, five, three, three. Okay. Okay. This one's over. So that's 1.375. Correct. I don't think we're doing this quite right. Well, whatever. I don't fucking know. Natural oh, there it is. Natural 9. Okay. Okay. It truly is poker after dark. <laughs> <laughs> she almost said he was too tired to do math. So. They're just not even getting the dealer involved. They're just Part of the issue is that it's still on the 48 level. We haven't on reached the, the color-up. The so they have right. a ton of chips. <laughs> like, all the 5Ks are still on the table. We took a little mercy on the extremely hard-working poker go staff tonight. Yes, we did. No, that's yeah, nice, right? Sure. I didn't mean that, like, to give us credit. Like, we would have, you know. Are the blinds well, up, by the way? You get all the credits. So. <laughs> 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 yeah, 50, 100. Mamma mia. All in. All right. Gamble too much, Donnie. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> if we're playing Baccarat, Nick's ahead. You're right. Sorry. Double down, mamma mia. All right, so we're, we're flipping again. We're gonna keep doing this until we have a winner. Queen ten versus nine deuce, and again, Chino okay. How hitting. How many more of these do I have I, to win? I like to, uh, I like you this hand. <laughs> but God, you have a lot. Okay. Okay, hold on. Yeah, that's that does do it. Two point seven fifty. Another double. Two point seven fifty. Yeah. Chino's gonna go up into the lead. Six. So. Seven fifty. All right. Kind of back to where so they started. Hopefully. <laughs> one more of these bad I think, oh, I think if you win this one, it's over, right? Yeah. Okay. Right. I have a feeling I'm going to win, though. <laughs> I'm all in, Chino. All right, I call. It's funny. Snap a they call. chopped all the money, yeah. and yeah. they were thinking, okay, one or two <laughs> hands, we'll be done. And now they can't close <laughs> it out. Yeah, and that's Snap usually a call. how it goes, right? <laughs> yeah, I mean, I just do it for my story. So we also know that this isn't going to affect anything in terms of the leaderboard status for these players. Chino Reams ultimately going to finish the leaderboard in 
25th place. Nick Shulman's going to finish Hyde. in ninth oh, place. Oh, oh. Sorry, oh. Nick finish in eighth place. Maybe Chop. Maybe Chop. We're going to see chop, both chop. these guys Maybe chop, I think on two Tuesday sides. for the PGT Championship. Just three side, three side. Chop very likely here as we have ace four versus ace chop. six. The dealer also speeding things up a little bit. Serve a card. Big chop. card. There it is. Okay. Chop it up. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. We yeah. needed the three or the five. Yeah. The the chip counts at the top of the screen have a hard time keeping up. Okay, one more of these. I'm, I'm looking this time. Fuck it. Let's play. <laughs> <laughs> I have a lot of um, fucking videos on my story today. Way more than average. Your, your story's got to be uh, pretty dope. You're just always at the final table. Here's this guy. Here's yeah. that guy. Like. <laughs> I all in. Okay, I know I have the eight of clubs. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I got you beat. <laughs> three side, three side. Wow. Wow. Eight? No, we are. <laughs> we are because uh, I don't know eight. how to flop wheels. Just flip it for it. Do you cover right now? Uh, yeah, you do. I think so. I know how to flop flushes and wheels and two pairs. And flushes. Wow, you do. You know how to flop flushes. Spades. Eight of spades. Ay, yeah, yeah. Flushes. Oh, no, two oh, pairs. You may be bluff, though. <laughs> so what do you... <laughs> I don't even know, bro. How much do you have total? Because then uh, we can figure out what I have. I have four, five, five? Five, five. 5.5, so what's nine, nine, eight, seven, so, five minus 5.5? So you have uh, 4.375? Yeah. Right? So, so that, I have to give you 4.375? That times 2 is is 8.7. Oh, yeah, yeah, obviously that works. I give you 4.375, <laughs> yeah. right? Yep. 3.75. Okay. All right, now it's Chino's turn again. Cool. Who I wonder three what hands the longest in a row. this could go, like, mathematically before it's in the... <laughs> obviously, we're not close no. yet, but, like, you know, it Can just you it it can't go that long something? in theory, but... No, yeah. I think the players would lose their minds. What is his hand number five? I mean, technically, Chino's hand should be dead because he's on his phone all the time, right? I mean, like, I don't even know how he's allowed to win these. Wow. Oh, oh ay, ay, ay. Oh, ay, ay, ay. He's got king. Give Nicholas the ace. In a flip. It. This is amazing. This is the funniest moment of the whole series. These guys chopped it up. They just want to go to bed. It's been a long series. I feel series. like Remco and Donnie are putting the read on that we chopped. <laughs> I think they can feel it. No, this is totally Seven. serious, Nick. <laughs> That's a real strategy right here. We can learn from this, Donnie. Hey, what's that? I have 9, 10, 1.125. 1. Well, you, know, you know who I feel sorry for? All right. Our video editor, Joseph, make it, <laughs> putting this into the recap. I splashed this pot. Should we be like putting blinds off the top? I don't know. This is a bit kind of feels like we should just be allowed to. But yeah, somebody has to win. No, I got it actually. Right. Never mind. All right, so Chino Reem, once again with the double, double up. We're Does someone have to win? I don't even know the rules. But I mean, Wait, this is, we need, somebody call the commissioner. He's I in bed, him. but I mean, he, he'd be, he'd be wake him up. He'd be fuming Nine, at the disrespect. Let's go, baby. Like, can Deuce. they just chop Hold the money up. and go home? Or. I mean, they need is, to this play is, it out. This is way more fun. Was oh, of course right it's more fun. I mean, <laughs> but you played a lot of Bach, haven't you? <laughs> but we're so playing poker. You only seeing Baccarat right now. So this is a real test, and you know poker players really don't know math at the end of the day. <laughs> All right, so now Shulman is real close. GG. Good game, on. Good shit, bro. Good job. All right. All right. There uh, it is. We, are we allowed to just go and come back Tuesday, right? Yeah. yeah absolutely. All right, Nick Schulman takes it down, ladies and gentlemen. They chopped it up, heads up. They yeah, gambled yeah, forward. Yeah, it was, wait, I believe, on, seven I straight hands of all-in play. Hope you, you enjoyed a little bit of that sideshow here <laughs> inside an the Pro Studio. Uh, it's been an honor and a pleasure. It's been a lot of fun to call the action. My name is Rem Gorinka. My Donnie Peters alongside me. Join us again on Tuesday for the million-dollar free roll PGG Championship. That's going to have a half a million dollars up top. All the best players in the world will be participating, and we are streaming that two straight days. 
Thank you all so much for tuning in. It's been a blast. On your way out, please like the video, subscribe to the channel, do all that good stuff, and we'll see you guys on Tuesday. Don't miss it. The PGT Championship coming up in just two days. Thank you for watching.